I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on Polar Coordinate System. In this video, we will understand how to plot points on polar grid when the angles are given in radians. So we need to plot the following points on the polar grid. A, 3, 5 pi by 6. B is 3, 7 pi by 3. C is minus 3, 5 pi by 4. And D is minus 4, minus pi by 6. So we have taken r and theta values as positive and negative to give you the variety. Now on the polar grid, as you can see, this is 0 and that is pi, correct? Now these we have divided into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 portions. So each is pi by 6, right? So this is pi by 6. That is 2 pi by 6 or pi by 3, 3 pi by 6 or pi by 2. Right, so, so this is 1 pi by 6, 2 pi by 6, 3 and 4 pi by 6. So 4 pi by 6 is same as 2 pi by 3 and this is 5 pi by 6, correct? So likewise, and that is 6 pi by 6, that would be 7 pi by 6. 8 pi by 6, 8 means 4 pi by 3, we will simplify it. That is 9 pi by 6, right? So. Uh, 7, 8 and 9 pi by 6 or we get 3 pi by 2, right? So we get 3 pi by 2 here. That is 10 pi by 6. This is 11 pi by 6, correct? So this is 10 pi by 6. So we get 5 pi by 3, correct? So 10 goes 2, 2 times. So that is what is shown here. Now let's try to display the information. A is 3, so radians 3, radians is 5 pi by 6, no, positive. So that means we will go all the way up to 5 pi by 6. So what we have here is 5 pi by 6 right there and our value is 3. So, so we go 1, 2, 3 units and then go round up to 5 pi by 6. So we reach this place. So that becomes the position, right? So we are going to draw it like this. So our answer here will be that length, right? So this represents point A. Is that clear to you, right? Now the next point is 3, 7 pi by 3, right? So the 7 pi by 3 means uh, we have uh, 6 pi by 3 right there, right? So if you go 3 pi by 3, which is pi, 6 pi by 3, and that is 7 pi by 3. So 7 pi by 3 will be 3 units here, and that becomes your point B, right? So basically, you're going to go around one full circle, 6 pi by 3, I mean, going like this, right? One full circle, and then you land up here to 7 pi by 3. Is that clear to you? So you land up at this position, which matches with uh, sorry, 7 pi by 3 would be here. I'm so sorry. 7 pi by 3. So 6 pi by 3, that will be the position. Sorry. So that becomes 7 pi by 3, not this. Okay. So that is B for us, not this. So that is 7 pi by 3. Clear? Okay. The next one for us is C, which is minus 3, 5 pi by 4. Okay. So... We are given this in terms of pi by 2. This is 0, right? So when you talk about pi by 4, it is midway, right? So this is 1 pi by 4, right? This is 2 and this is 3, correct? This is 4. So 5 pi by 4 is here, right? 5 pi by 4, okay? So this is pi by 4. 2 pi by 4, 3 pi by 4. 4 pi by 4, 5 pi by 4, this is 6, and that one right there in the middle of uh, this diagonally will be your 7 pi by 4, correct? Of course, this is 8 pi by 4. Now, we are going to go to minus 3, 5 pi by 4. So, 3 will be actually in this direction, 1, 2, 3. But since this is negative, since it is negative, it will point in the opposite direction. So that becomes the point C for us. So if it is negative, 
then we are taking the point on the other side it doesn't point towards the primary angle okay so that is how we get our negative 3 now the last one here is to plot minus 4 minus pi by 6 so let's take care of minus pi by 6 first so that is minus pi by 6 so you reach here minus 4 we have to go in the opposite direction right so 1 2 3 4 so that point will be the point D so which will be like this do you see that so this is your minus 4 minus pi by 6 do you see that so negative angles is clockwise of course so this is minus pi by 6 however the minus 4 will not point in this direction but it will point in the opposite direction and therefore we get point D in quadrant 2 if you compare with your Cartesian coordinates right so on a polar grid there you will have point D so I hope these steps to plot the polar coordinates is absolutely clear feel free to write your comment share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great thanks for your time and all the best